Welcome to Hometown Business. I'm your host today, Roxanne Morse, and today we have as our guest, Doug Tourette, a licensed massage therapist here in downtown Stoughton. Welcome, Doug. Well, thanks, Roxanne. You are a licensed massage therapist here in Stoughton. Yes, I am. And the name of your business is? Massage Horizons. Massage Horizons. Wow. That sounds great. Um, you have to tell us why you named it Massage Horizons. Well. The goal is not only to help people with massage, but also to help them expand their horizons. So I'm not just a massage therapist, I'm also a, a medical massage practitioner and a certified life coach. Oh, okay, so yes, it's it's just, you are just beyond, oh, someone's got achy bones or, or right. has, you know, some physical ailment that massage right, would Right, because what, what was happening is I was having people come in not only with the same physical complaints, but with the black cloud over their head about this situation keeps coming up at work or at home or, um, you know, my girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever problems. And I found, well, I, I, and I also do something called access consciousness, which is a hybrid of coaching and energy work, like Reiki. Ah. So I, I, I decided that you know, massage wasn't enough. Often, often people needed a little bit more. So, I try to help them. You know, if they're coming to me and trusting me with their physical ailments, maybe I can help them with the others as well. Oh, cool! That's really cool. Um, where in downtown are you? Um, I'm in Trackside Plaza. If you were to come in from the commuter rail, uh, the commuter rail shares a big parking lot with a long two-story building. And I'm in the second story of that two-story building, right above the Polish Deli. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Um, so we kind of talked earlier, and you mentioned that um, you haven't always been a massage therapist, that you've actually done other things. Sort of yes. what were you doing, and kind of where, how did that lead you to massage therapy? Well, business? you know, it's, it's interesting. I began as a professional drummer. Really? I began yeah. as a professional drummer and uh, in fact I've played with uh, rock bands and jazz bands and classical orchestras and, and a couple of the gospel churches in the area. Cool. A wide range of things. Um, I was uh, married back in 1985 and about three months after the wedding my ex came down with a uh, serious illness. Me on the road oh, and, mm -hmm. and frankly um, although it was a I made a fairly good income. It was in the New York area, teaching and performing. I, I knew that you know, with the kinds of expenses that came up, I, her condition was MS. Oh, um, with the yeah. kinds of expenses that came up, I, there just wasn't enough money there doing what I was doing. So I had to find something else. And mm -hmm. I knew a lot about rocks and minerals, so I thought I'd, you know, do something with that. As a kid, I had collected rocks and minerals, and so I thought, well maybe I can do something with gemstones and, and I went to work for a jewelry store and while I was there I noticed that diamonds are always cut for maximum brilliance and colored stones usually weren't so I taught myself how to cut stones and became a colored stone cutter and I did that for 25 years. Wow, cool. And cool. then um, I guess, uh, you know, after 25, 27 years of it I was burning out. I just didn't have the same love of getting up and, and going to work in the morning. And um, I bumped into a massage therapist and we struck up a conversation and, and um, I decided, well, you know, I've never even had a massage. I'll, I'll go and get one. And, and I enjoyed it. And I thought, well, you know, this, this might be something to look at. And, mm -hmm. and so I, um, in 2000, I think it was 2011 or 2012, I enrolled in a massage school and, and found that I really loved it. 
Wow. And so, you know, one thing led to another. Um, I, uh, I graduated in, I guess, 2013 and started Massage Horizons. Um, there are many different kinds of massage therapy. And one of the most popular and unfortunately most painful is something called deep tissue massage. Okay. Yeah. And the way an awful lot of massage therapists approach deep tissue is on your mark, get set, uh! Yeah, really, yeah. And so um, people come, on, come away often feeling like they've been tenderized with a broom handle. Ah. Um, and so I developed my own technique that I call gentle descent deep. It is deep tissue massage, but because the pressure is applied gradually, mm -hmm. there's no pain at any time during the session. Ah. There's no bruising afterwards. Mm -hmm. And so people are able to enjoy the full benefit of a deep tissue massage instantly. So you talked about massage therapy, something you sort of was introduced to. What about the other side to talk about really obviously more the psychological or emotional side where did that start you know if if you're taking off most of your clothes and lying on a table and letting somebody work with you generally the the resistance is down about talking about other things mm. oh. and and so i found i said well, you know if people would ask me for advice on things and I, and I wasn't prepared to help them i i'd say you know i i'd love to be able to help you but i, I don't know the answer to that maybe i can refer you to a friend mm. And after enough, of, after, I don't know, 12 or 15 of these, I thought, I wonder if there's some way that I can be involved in helping them without going back to school to become a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. And I found that uh, there's a, an online school called the uh, Universal Coach Unit Institute out of New York. And um, through a combination of online classes and, and group work, also and Google Hangouts kind of thing, I was able to uh, get well. Up there is a uh, you know certified life coach and certified transformational coach, so um, and it's been very helpful for a lot of the clients, you know, especially those who who are going through career changes or uh, major life events, illnesses, cancer, or career change. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, it's it's uh, it's they they come in for a massage and. And if they choose to, they can stay another half hour or an hour and, and we'll address some of the other issues. To come in, what sort of um, conditions would they have that re would require this deep tissue massage? Um, tendinitis, um, tennis elbow, sprained ankles. Now, I wouldn't work on the ankle or the injured area the second it was injured. Mm. Usually wait about four or five weeks, um, but then it's, uh, it helps helps the body to regrow the tissue properly rather than building up all kinds of scar tissue that limits movement. I mean, are there hospitals or, or you know, medical centers that refer you? There are. Um, right now I work uh, a lot with uh, New England Spinal Care over in Norwood. They refer a lot of patients to me. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Andrew Smith over there does, does some amazing work. And, um, you know, both his work and mine are, are pretty cutting edge. They're not traditional chiropractic or massage it's uh, mm -hmm. you know it, I incorporate things like Eastern breath work and energy work into my work uh, ah. also there are there are basic elements there are four basic elements of any massage okay and they are pressure friction um, what's called effleurage which is uh, you know, gliding strokes that, that, that uh, bring bring fluids to the surface and uh, to potent or percussion. In addition to these, there are probably 30 or 40 different sub-modalities. Mm -hmm. um, things like trigger point therapy and myofascial release. Different modalities that enable therapists to do, um, to help release a frozen shoulder or um, a, uh, increase the range of motion on someone who has been in a motorcycle accident and can only move their arm this much. Mm -hmm. Over time, things like the um, myofascial release and my gentle descent deep in specific points on the arm will help increase the range of motion. Ah. Now, will it absolutely positively make you perfect in two sessions? No. Mm. But over time, it can greatly enhance your range of motion. Very cool. So. Yeah. So, yeah. What 
it is really unique about Massage Horizons. What's most unique about Massage Horizons, uh, in, and people tell me this time and time again, is that they feel incredibly safe here. There's a, they walk in the door and they go, ah, okay, I, I, can, I can unwind here. Mm -hmm. And that there's, there's no question but they're going to receive extraordinary service here. Um, because I offer, and because I'm certified in so many different techniques, and because I have so many tools in my toolbox, mm -hmm. while I obviously can't prescribe medicine or do surgery here, an awful lot of other areas can be addressed, um, whether it's pain in a specific muscle or connective tissue, mm -hmm. a limitation in range of motion, a limitation in relationships, or in career approaches and, and uh, career possibilities. Really? Yeah. Yes. How is that? How does your therapy work for that? Well, that, that goes into the more into life coaching and, and the access consciousness. Mm -hmm. Access consciousness is a movement that began in uh, Southern California about 30 years ago. And what it, well, by its name tells you everything. It's about helping people to access more consciousness, to help them to become more aware of their surroundings and the possibilities that are available to them. Ah, okay. So let's say someone is has been an accountant for 30 years and is as burned out as I once was with my prior, prior career. Mm -hmm. um, instead of talking about accounting, I'll ask them what, uh, what things in their life bring them joy. So, uh, you know, what do you enjoy? Well, the guy might say, well, I really enjoy fishing with my son. Mm -hmm. Now, what is it about that that really brings you the most pleasure? Is it the throwing the line out? Is it the catching the fish? Is it time with your son? What aspect of it? And, and bit by bit, we it's sort of like a, a funnel. We start out with a big area, mm -hmm. and we work down until we have a laser-like focus on one or two areas of their life. And then I'll ask questions like, if you could do this, if money were no object, and you know that you know the, all the bills would be taken care of, and you didn't have to worry about that, Mm -hmm. Would this be the thing that you would spend your time doing? Uh -huh. And I find that in areas, people's areas of greatest ease and joy, they're able to function at their peak. And if you then make that a career, mm -hmm. then there's an old saying that if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Uh huh. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. So. My, my mission at Massage Horizons is to help people's lives work more easily, help their bodies move more easily, help them flow through life, rather than having one obstacle after another obstacle that they have to constantly defend yeah. against and feel like they have to push through. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. It really yeah. sounds very holistic. I want everybody to feel happy. I, I can't make it happen. They, yeah. they will receive what they're willing to receive. Mm. But yeah, the options are there. Yeah, cool. That's really great. Great. I, I, love it. I can't believe you're yeah, and you're here in Stoughton. What I am. what brought you to Stoughton actually? You know, I uh, I lived for I guess twelve or fifteen years over in Avon, mm -hmm. and I uh, would drive through Stoughton, and parts of Stoughton are old and culturally rich, and other parts seemed tired and I thought wow if I could bring some life into those areas if I could help uplift those people's lives how much better would that be mm -hmm. so you know I, I was very lucky to set up shop here at Trackside Plaza and um, I have the, the the greatest landlord in the world Steve Kelly yep yep Steve Kelly yes absolutely <laughs> uh, the if you have a chance to work with Steve Kelly jump at it he's an amazing man um, and uh, it's been great. I, I've really been blessed. It's a wonderful location, and and it's a building practice. I love it. Cool. So, what is it about massage specifically that inspired you? You know, um, after almost thirty years of working on little tiny things, mm -hmm. 
and you know, cutting these stones and then sending them off to jewelers and I'd never see the end result. I never got to see the customer's joy when they saw the stone. I'd hear about it occasionally from the jewelers. Um, I wanted a more personal approach, a more personal contact. I wanted to see that I was making a difference in the world. And with massage, people come in like this and they leave like this totally blissed out yeah and and it's god what a, what a fantastic feeling to help people transform their lives mm -hmm. you know um, either to you know I have corporate executives and I have retirees and I have you know young kids who come in with their with their parents um, the key point there is uh, I will treat anyone down to the age of 10 but the parent has to be in the room mm -hmm. I'm very explicit about that okay uh, another key point is there are many different kinds of massage and there are some things that are called massage that are not. Mm -hmm. And what I do is therapeutic massage, medical massage, and life coaching. Yeah. In addition to table massage and various forms of body work that, that help people to stretch and increase their range of motion, um, I also do chair massage in corporate settings. And I'm one of the very few massage therapists who's set up to help people with mobility issues. So I can actually do massage on people who are in wheelchairs. Oh, I see, I see. So, I mean, that you do that in in the in their wheelchair, or do you have a, a special chair no, that actually, they sit in? I have for a, your I have. It's sort of like a the top half of a massage chair and clamps to a table, and I have them roll up to a table or a desk. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so with we lock the wheels on their wheelchair, and I can work on their upper body just like anybody else. Oh, that, yes, that yeah. that's great. So you do travel, like mm -hmm. you say. So you would go to a business. You could do to massage. businesses or, or or to homes if people are mm -hmm. homebound, or if there are executives who come home at the end of a long day and don't want to turn around and come back out. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, by all means, you know, it's it's not the same price as an office visit, but I can you know I can come to their homes and and I have several people who do that. Some are weekly, some are biweekly, some are monthly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh, great, great. This looks like an, a great place to come and to um, get um, not only a massage, but also some, you know, massage of the psyche and, and release some tension and maybe open up and clear your mind. Okay. Well, cool. okay. Thank you. Well, thank you, Doug. This, is, this was great. It's been wonderful. Yeah. Too, and, and I know we're going to, you're going to have some uh, guest patients to yes. come in and to yes, show I, some I, of I, your treatments. I have and a couple of people from different walks of life and um, I'll uh, have them come in and, and get on the table and, and I'll be able to show people examples of what it is that I do and uh, you know most importantly so many massages that I hear about and that I've experienced have been very uncomfortable, have been painful Mm -hmm. And my goal is to make sure that the client is comfortable at all times. And by approaching things slightly differently, I find that you can affect tremendous changes for everybody without there being any pain or discomfort of any sort. Fantastic. Great. Okay. Cool. So shall we get on? We'll yes. start down with, our, yes. with your patients? Let's do that. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. We'll see you in a bit. So I'm here with, with one of my clients, whose name is Brenda. Thank you for coming in today, Brenda. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Doug. So um, let me ask you, uh, since the last time that I saw you, I remember last time you had some upper back issues. Uh, are they still the same, or are there other things troubling you today? No, they're not the same. They mostly now um, revolve around my left shoulder, the back. Okay. Um, I've been using that arm a great deal lately. Okay. Do you have any sensitivities to oils or lotions? Not at all. Okay, wonderful. So, oops. Alrighty, and if you could take a deep breath in for me and let it out. And you can just breathe normally.
Now I want you to let me know if there's any discomfort and pressure. So I'm going to do a technique called myofascial release. This is one of many myofascial release techniques. Myo means muscle. And fascia is, if you've ever cut apart a chicken, it's the white filmy stuff that's hard to cut through. It's the stuff that gives our body structure and form. And when we're injured, is the area is the, stu the material that the body sends in to the rescue bin, so to split things together. And you'll feel me stretching the tissue here. Just stretching it. The more it's stretched, the more freedom of movement you have when I'm done. And right here I feel a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. Because what's, what's really happening here is that this piece of muscle right here when you're wearing your purse, is in a constant state of cramping, trying to hold up that extra weight. Hmm. Would it help if I put the shoulder strap over my neck, over my head, and use your crossbody? Um. Actually, if there's a way that, um, do you wear a belt ever? No. No. Hmm. Um. You know, in the best backpacks, there's a, a waist belt. It takes an awful lot of the weight and the strain off of the shoulders. And perhaps there's some way that we can rig something like that for your purse. Something that won't be noticeable, but that would take the weight off your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay, so bring your arm out to the side here. Just drop in. Totally relaxed. Very good. There you go. Did you feel that let go? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Like pop. Yep. Don't help. Don't help me. I mean, thank you for wanting to help. Oh. Good. So how are you feeling after that session? Can we do it again? <laughs> <laughs> that was Excellent. nice. That was good. I like that. So what changes did you feel before and after? It was tight, I guess, and I didn't realize it was tight. And I learned that I can't carry all that stuff in my purse. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to find a way to ease it. Okay. Um, and. Bef as far as the before and after, yeah. what are you feeling? Well, it's loose. It's loose. It's not tight anymore. And it's not sore. Great. Wonderful. And that's, that's the goal. How are you today? Hi, Doug. How are you doing? Good. So tell me what's been going on with the body. Well, I injured myself at work, so I have some muscle spasms and three uh, bulging discs in my neck. Okay. So it's been um, very uncomfortable. Can you tell me about the injury? What happened? I was just lifting some boxes at work, and I was doing it really, really fast. So um, I didn't just, the next day I just noticed this agonizing pain. And describe the pain for me. Is it sharp? Is it dull, like pressure, or...? Um, what does it feel like? It was sharp. It was, it was just the worst pain I probably have ever been. In. Okay, so let me just feel what's going on back here. Okay, yeah, right here. Right. Here. Okay, so what I'm doing here is stretching, gently stretching, and palpating. That is, using my fingers to feel what's going on in the deeper muscles. Feeling any discomfort as I'm working? Right. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, good. Okay, totally relax your upper body. Okay. Tell me if you feel any discomfort at all as I'm doing this. And don't help me. Please tell me what it feels like. Is it sharp like a tack? Is it dull like, you know, 
like a fist pressing against it. Tell me what you're feeling. Okay. And by doing this gentle tensioning of your neck, what I'm doing is stretching it and taking the pressure off of those bulging discs and then working on the individual muscles in between them. How's this feeling? Amazing. Good. Tell me what you're feeling. I feel like sharp pains going to my head. Right here? No, like up, like a headache almost. Okay, so let me come back. And what that's telling me is that on this side of your neck, the muscles are really tight. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath in. Okay. Okay. Deep breath in, let it out. Once again, deep breath in. Let it out. Swallow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on these muscles on either side of your esophagus. And in order to do that, I'm going to move the esophagus back and forth. You may feel a little crackling and popping. It's absolutely normal. Like that? Feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay, now when I turn your head gently to the side. Are you feeling those pains in your head again? No. Right. Totally relax this arm. And let's just see what the range of motion is. Don't help me. Okay, just let your arm fall on top of mine. Good. Okay, I want you to take a deep breath in for me. And let it out. breath in and let it out. And one last time. And let it out. Okay. Level. Mm -hmm. um, slowly turn your head side to side. Okay, and back. How's your neck feeling? Good. Okay. Any more of those pains up here? Nope. Okay. Um, let me just see something. Give me your elbows. Just rest your elbows on my arm. Just totally let go of your arm. There you go. Any pain? Nope. Okay. So, what? What I was just talking about um, with uh, Brian is um, there's some injuries back here and when he turned his head to the right he had pain. That tells me that there's damage here but also in front and by correcting that in balance we're able to take the strain off of his nervous system and take care of the pain. Quick, simple. Very good. And was any of it painful? It wasn't that bad. Really? No. <laughs> it's a pleasure.